In the third installment of our Leonardo AI series, we'll explore the utilization of the image to image function. This feature provides us with enhanced control over the generated images. Our objective will be to create a captivating image of the renowned singer Taylor Swift. Open Leonardo AI and then open the image generation window. Scroll down to the bottom of the control panel and click on the reset to defaults in order to clear all previous work settings. This gives us a clean start for our prompts and models. Select Dream Shaper version 6, then click on the Image to Image button. Next, we'll drag and drop an image of Taylor Swift into the Image to Image area. I downloaded this image from the internet. We'll begin with the slider in its default setting of 0.3, and we'll leave the guidance scale at its default of 7. The guidance scale controls how much weight the program gives our prompt description. Leonardo's guidelines recommends a value between 5 and 10. The image to image slider, or INIT strength slider as it's labeled, works by controlling the amount of diffusion that is applied to the uploaded image that we are using as a basis to our generated image. The way it works is that the program diffuses or blurs the image and then asks Leonardo's algorithms to decipher what the image looks like using our prompts as a guide. The lower the value of the slider, the greater the blurring and the less information the program has to work with. The higher the slider value, then the less blurring and hence the more information that is retained for the program to reconstruct the image and the less reliant it is on the prompt information. Placing the slider at the extreme right with the highest value will result in the program merely duplicating the image. We'll ask for a colorful, beautiful Taylor Swift with messy hair, oil painting, nice perfect face with soft skin, blue-yellow colors, light purple and violet additions, light red additions, and intricate detail, an 8K resolution, professional photography, natural lighting, volumetric lighting, complex, elegant, expansive, fantastical with a splatter paint background. Then we'll generate some images and make some adjustments to get the effect we want. We can see that Leonardo is following the pose of our uploaded photo and is generating a similar image. We can also see that the program is generating some deformed faces in some of the images. We can correct this by increasing the image to image slider in small increments, or we can use the seed from one of the better images and using it as we generate more images. Let's take the seed from one of the better images and increase the slider to 0.45. These four images have good facial proportions and bear a strong resemblance to our subject, Taylor Swift. We can also note that the prompt has less influence on the image, but we still get the messy, colorful hair that we asked for. The original dress that was in the reference photo has been transformed into a swirling splash paint, fantastical effect like we requested. If we increase the value of the image slider to 0.7 or more, we'll get an image that is nearly identical to the original. That's because Leonardo now has enough information to decipher what the original image looked like and doesn't need the guidance from our prompts to reconstruct it. Next, we'll compare the results without the reference image by deleting it from the image to image area. We'll keep the same seed and generate four new images to see what the results look like. Leonardo will be free to generate images from our prompt only, and the only additional information will be from the seed. We'll see how much influence the seed has on the composition of the image. Our control over the pose and composition has been completely lost without the reference image. Let's drag and drop the reference image back into the image to image area but this time we'll only use it as a guide for the pose we want Leonardo to use when generating our Taylor Swift image. We'll do this by turning on control net and we'll make sure that pose to image is selected in the pull down menu. The pose is roughly the same with Taylor's head pointed to the right and looking over her shoulder. We can increase or decrease the influence that control net exerts by adjusting the control net weight slider. This image was generated using the maximum value of one. The other takeaway is that the image itself is more creative and more responsive to our prompt directions. Okay, so now that we have some cool artwork of Taylor Swift, what do we do with it? Well, we can make custom products for ourselves, or we can monetize it by making merchandise such as coffee cups, sweatshirts, 
or travel mugs. In the next video, I'll be taking a look at the print on demand market and how to start an income stream from artwork generated in Leonardo AI. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more video tutorials.